It's safe, it's just wide of Marsh. Marsh chasing after it. A half-hearted attempt at a sort of hook shot just to fend away from his leg side. He gets a single. There's an indication there is some bounce. Um, that's the second actual bounce of the Hogs Bowl this morning. But nowhere near the lift as there was in Perth. Now here we go. Um, through forward square leg and out we go. For three runs. And back they come, a return back to Marsh. And that's three more to Madassa. He goes on to 18. Well played by Amar, that one. Lawson then to Madassa. Not happy at all with that. Out into the covers, they're taking a single. A shot at the stumps by Rackerman. There's a wild overthrow there that could be. No, the batsman uh were too far down and it went straight through to lawson but that rackerman throw again he throws at the base of the stumps <laughs> well he's not really a uh, a cover fieldsman as you can see there he's a big lump of a lad rodney hogg fine action you'll see he's striding and then thrusting onto the back foot and then that big lunge forward and that's why he gets so much pace look how far his follow through takes him through almost down to the ground Well, the end of a fiery over from Hogg, and um, let's see now, we've had 12 overs bowled, and the score at 31. Mason was out for two, Adassa is 20, Omar. Rodney Hogg about to resume. Kazim Omar on strike, and the first ball back to the bowl. Outside the off stump, and through first and second slip, I think it was Borders catch, straight down to the fence for four as Omar makes a bad stroke outside the off stump. There goes the edge, very sharp chance, but it went uh, straight through the gap, and I would say closer, far closer to Alan Border than it was to Greg Chappell. He made Omar jump a bit, playing defensively. He's only a short man, and Hogg is getting lift and bowling extremely fast. Very useful over by Rod Hogg, and he could well have taken another test wicket with that. Doesn't have very much time to play Hogg. But gets one to fine leg. Oh! I'm glad I wasn't out there facing that. <laughs> yes, that was a beauty from Hogg. It really did climb sharply on job at me and dad great shot of hog from side on an edge marsh takes the catch diving in front of first slip hog gets his first wicket and the dangerous job at me and dad departs here goes hog he's on fire at the moment steaming in bowling with great speed and great accuracy and fending outside. Now watch Marsh go across, and that ball, look, would have gone straight to Greg Chappell, waist high. But Chappell clapping, as you see him in the corner of the screen there, applauding the catch before Marsh had even hit the wicket. Rod Marsh at his best. Another chance here to uh, see it from the other end, and you'll watch it going pretty well straight to Greg Chappell. What a catch. You reckon Rodney loved it. Zahir Abbas now coming out to face what I think we can only call as the music. He's a great player, Zahir. 4,200 runs at 46. Playing his 63rd test match. Age 36, and I think that's what's counting against him at the moment. I just don't think he's possibly still got the reflexes and the determination, perhaps even, to really face up to this quality pace bowling. And Let's not forget that uh, these two fellows have done it all in their own, Hogg and Lawson. 
Zahir facing his first ball from Hogg. Through mid-wicket, just about right off the stumps. And he comes back to complete two as Yallop field. That is the end of Hogg's over. And what a corker. He whistled one past Jarvid Mandad. And later in the over, over had him caught brilliantly by Marsh. It's a sensational catch. He got it with one hand, but he's tipped it over for six. Zahir goes for the high bouncer. There it goes off the top edge. And Lawson came in a little bit and then had to go back again. And then going back, thrust out the right mitt. Got a hand on the ball. Here it goes. There he goes backwards now. There goes the hand up. Got it on the ball. Nearly snatched it out of the sky. Over it went for six. Outside the off stump and Zahir. Oh, that was a terrible shot, Zahir. The lack of discipline is just uh, not on. Off to the Zahir. Down back with a square leg, a run in for Yallop. Zahir handles a single. Leg by, signalled by umpire Mel Johnson. So, Hawk 99 wickets, uh, Zahir. My God, that was quick. In the air for some way, just forward a square leg, and they amble a single. Goes for this one, Zahir. Taken by Marsh above his head. Zahir survives. This man with only one wicket has been the best bowler of the day. And a chance, is it? Yes, he's gone. Very faint outside edge and uh, just reaching with that and Hawk striking with his very first ball. And Nazir is caught by Marsh, bowled by Hogg for one. It's nine for 147. And Hogg now has two for 41. And there's Azim's record. High score, 18. So we'll have a 20-year-old here, and the uh, 12th man is 19 to the promising youngsters in the Pakistan team. Hog rolling to Azim. And that's the over by Hog with a wicket off the very first ball, and Hog taking his 100th test wicket in that over and has the figures now of 2 for 41 in this innings. And wide through the gully, that's a, a chase down there for Porter. There'll be a couple here at least. And that's two more to the score. That's the 150 up for Pakistan. And Lawson then to Rashid. <laughs> 